Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. We will now pray the Holy Rosary. Please kneel. O sacred feast, in which we partake of Christ, His sufferings are remembered. Our minds are filled with His grace, and we receive the pledge of the glory, which is to be ours. He gave them bread from heaven to be their food. And this bread contained all goodness. Let us pray, Lord Jesus Christ, You gave us the Eucharist as the memorial of Your suffering and death. May Your worship of this sacrament of Your body and blood Help us to experience the salvation you won for us and the peace of the kingdom where you live with the Father and the Holy Spirit. God, forever and ever. Amen. Queen of heaven, rejoice. Alleluia. For he whom you did merit to bear. Alleluia. Has risen as he said. Alleluia. Pray for us to God. Alleluia. Rejoice and be glad, O Virgin Mary. Alleluia. For the Lord is truly risen. Alleluia. Let us pray, O God, who gave joy to the world through the resurrection of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, grant we beseech you that through the intercession of the Virgin Mary, his mother, we may obtain the joy of everlasting life through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be, forever. Amen. We will meditate the sorrowful mysteries. The first sorrowful mystery, the agony in the garden. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, now and will be, forever. Amen. The second sorrowful mystery, the, sword, the scourging at the pillar. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The third sorrowful mystery, the crowning with thorns. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. The fourth sorrowful mystery, the carrying of the cross. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The fifth sorrowful mystery, the crucifixion and death of Jesus. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, now and will be forever. Amen. We fly to your patronage, O Holy, Holy Mother, Mother of God. God. Despise, despise not our petitions, our petitions in our necessities, but, but deliver us from, from all dangers, O ever glorious and blessed Virgin. Virgin. Queen of the Holy Rosary of Manawak, pray for us, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by His life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life. Grant we beseech you that meditating upon these mysteries of the Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through Christ our Lord. Amen. Behold the faithful and prudent steward, whom the Lord has set over his household. The Lord has shown him his love and covered him with glory. He has clothed him in splendid garment. Let us pray, Father, you entrusted, entrusted our Savior to the, to the care, care of Saint Joseph. Joseph. By the, the help of his prayers, may your church continue to serve our Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, Spirit God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Jubilee prayer for the golden anniversary of the Dominican province of the Philippines. O God, our Father and Creator, in whom we live and move and have our being, we praise you as we gather in gentle grace and gratitude on this Jubilee of the Dominican province of the Philippines. O God, the Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, we preach you as the way, the truth, and the life whose name we proclaim, whose love we strive to incarnate. O God, the Holy Spirit, Advocate and Guide, we bless you and seek the outpouring of your presence in the witness of our words and works, in the consecration of our lives to holy preaching, in speaking only to you and about you, that our celebration be filled with fidelity to our mission, with hope for your promise, and with true charity binding us all, in the gospel we share with all peoples, by your will, O God, in your name, O Lord. Amen. Our Lady of the Holy Rosary, pray for us. Our Holy Father, Saint Dominic, pray for us. Please be seated for a while. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Today is Friday in the octave of Easter. We will now have the morning prayer of the Church integrated with the celebration of the Holy Mass. We invite you to actively participate in this 
in our prayers. Please stand. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. The Lord is risen, alleluia. The Lord is risen, alleluia. Come, let us sing to the Lord, and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving, and sing joyful songs to the Lord. The Lord is risen, alleluia. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth, and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. The Lord is risen, alleluia. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are his people, the flock he shepherds. The, the Lord, Lord is risen, alleluia. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness, when at Meribah and Massa they challenged me and provoked me, although they have seen all of my works. The Lord is risen, alleluia. Forty years I endured that generation. I said, they are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. The Lord is risen, alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord is risen. Alleluia. Please be seated. The splendor of Christ, risen from the dead, has shone in the people, redeemed by his blood. Alleluia. O God, you are my God. For you I long. For you my soul is thirsting, my body pines for you, like a dry, weary land without water. So I gaze on you in the sanctuary to see your strength and your glory. For your love is better than life, my lips will speak your praise. So I will bless you all my life. In your name I will lift up my hands. My soul shall be filled as with a banquet, my mouth shall praise you with joy. On my bed I remember you, on you I muse through the night, for you have been my help. In the shadow of your wings I rejoice, my soul clings to you, your right hand holds me fast. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our Redeemer has risen from the tomb. Let us sing a hymn of praise to the Lord our God. Alleluia. Bless the Lord, all you works of the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Angels of the Lord, bless the Lord. You heavens, bless the Lord. All you waters above the heavens, bless the Lord. All you hosts of the Lord, bless the Lord. Sun and moon, bless the Lord. Stars of heaven, bless the Lord. Every shower and dew, bless the Lord. All you winds, bless the Lord. Fire and heat, bless the Lord. Cold and chill, bless the Lord. Dew and rain, bless the Lord. Frost and chill, bless the Lord. Ice and snow, bless the Lord. Nights and days, bless the Lord. Light and darkness, bless the Lord. Lightnings and clouds, bless the Lord. Let the earth bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Mountains and hills, bless the Lord. Everything growing from the earth, bless the Lord. You springs, bless the Lord. Seas and rivers, bless the Lord. You dolphins and all water creatures, bless the Lord. All you birds of the air, bless the Lord. All you beasts, wild and tame, bless the Lord. You sons of men, bless the Lord. O Israel, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Priests of the Lord, bless the Lord. 
servants of the Lord, bless the Lord. Spirits and souls of the just, bless the Lord. Hananiah, Azariah, Mishael, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Let us bless the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Let us praise and exalt Him above all forever. Blessed are you, Lord, in the firmament of heaven. Praiseworthy and glorious and exalted above all forever. Alleluia. The Lord is risen as He promised. Alleluia. Sing a new song to the Lord, His praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel rejoice in its Maker. Let Zion's sons exult in their King. Let them praise His name with dancing and make music with timbrel and harp. For the Lord takes delight in His people. He crowns the poor with salvation. Let the faithful rejoice in their glory. Shout for joy and take their rest. Let the praise of God be on their lips and the two-edged sword in their hand. To deal out vengeance to the nations and punishment on all the peoples, to bind their kings in chains and their nobles in fetters of iron, to carry out the sentence preordained, dishonor is for all his faithful. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please stand. Almighty ever-living God, who gave us the Paschal mystery in the covenant you established for reconciling the human race, so dispose our minds, we pray, that what we celebrate by professing the faith, we may express in deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After the crippled men had been cured, while Peter and John were still speaking to the people, the priests, the captain of the temple guard, and the Sadducees confronted them, disturbed that they were teaching the people and proclaiming in Jesus the resurrection of the dead. They laid hands on Peter and John and put them in custody until the next day, since it was already evening. But many of those who heard the word came to believe, and the number of men grew to about 5,000. On the next day, their leaders, elders, and scribes were assembled in Jerusalem with Annas the high priest Caiaphas, John, Alexander, and all who were of the high priestly class. They brought them into their presence and questioned them. By what power or by what name have you done this? Then Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit, answered them, Leaders of the people and elders, if we are being examined today, about a good deed done to a cripple, namely by what means he was saved. Then all of you and all the people of Israel should know that it was in the name of Jesus Christ, the Nazarene, whom you crucified, whom God raised from the dead. In his name, this man stands before you healed. He is the stone rejected by you, the builders, which has become the cornerstone. There is no salvation through anyone else, nor is there any other name under heaven given to the human race by which we are to be saved. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good, for His mercy endures forever. Let the house of Israel say, 
His mercy endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord say, His mercy endures forever. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done. It is wonderful in our eyes. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. O Lord, grant salvation. O Lord, grant prosperity. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. The Lord is God, and he has given us light. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. Please stand. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. And with your spirit, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus revealed himself again to, the, to his disciples at the Sea of Tiberias. He revealed himself in this way. Together were Simon Peter, Thomas called Didymus, Nathaniel from Cana in Galilee, Zebedee's sons, and two others of his disciples. Simon Peter said to them, I am going fishing. They said to him, We also will come with you. So they went out and got into the boat, but that night they caught nothing. When it was already dawn, Jesus was standing on the shore, but the disciples did not realize that it was Jesus. Jesus said to them, Children, have you caught anything to eat? They answered him, No. So he said to them, Cast the net over the right side of the boat, and you will find something. So they cast it, and were not able to pull it in because of the number of fish. So the disciple whom Jesus loved said to Peter, It is the Lord. When Simon Peter heard that it was the Lord, he tucked in his garment, for he was lightly clad, and jumped into the sea. The other disciples came in the boat, for they were not far from shore, only about a hundred yards, dragging the net with fish. When they climbed out on shore, they saw a charcoal fire with fish on it and bread. Jesus said to them, Bring some of the fish you just caught. So Simon Peter went over and dragged the net ashore, full of 153 large fish. Even though there were so many, the net was not torn. Jesus said to them, Come, have breakfast. And none of the disciples dared to ask him, Who are you? Because they realized it was the Lord. Jesus came over and took the bread and gave it to them, and in like manner, the fish. This was now the third time Jesus was revealed to his disciples after being raised from the dead. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po muli sa ating lahat. 
One of the signs that there is love or when we are loving is that we give way for people or those whom we love be able to move or be animated. Kaya yun yung sinasabi ng aming lolo palagi. Kung mahal mo yung tao, sinasabi mo mabuhay ka. At isang, isang implication kapag ka ikaw ay buhay, nakakagalaw ka. You're able to practice your freedom. You're able to practice your own will. Eh, pagka mahal mo yung tao, yun yung ibinibigay mong opportunity. Yun yung ibinibigay mong senaryo sa kanya. Kaya hindi mo pwedeng sabihin, mahal kita pero ginagapos mo. Hindi ba? Mahal kita pero kinukulong mo. Mahal kita pero nililimit mo yung tao na lumago sa kanyang buhay. Kapag mahal mo, binibigyan mo ng pagkakataong gumalaw. No wonder our parents loved us so much that when we were still you know, little children, they let us move about. Crawl anywhere we want. But letting us move does not immediately mean that there is love. We are given the opportunity to move with a direction, of course. Para maklaro nga, mahal na mahal talaga ako nito kasi hinayaan akong gumalaw pero mayroong pinapupuntahan na lang namang hindi pwedeng, hindi pwedeng walang direksyon. Ano? Meron laging direksyon kapag ka pinapakita mong mahal mo yung tao, hinahayaan mong gumalaw at meron ding direksyon. No wonder no mga maliliit pa tayo, hindi naman tayo hinahayaan lang, basta galaw ka lang. Kaya lagi pag hinahayaan tayong gumalaw ng no, mga babies tayo, Pag nakakakita tayo ng baby, pinapagalaw ng kanyang magulang, eh di ba? Come here, baby. Go to daddy. Uh, di ba? Meron laging direksyon. Dahil mahal na magulang yung kanyang anak, inaayaan niyang lumayo sa kanya, pinapapunta sa eskwelahan. Eh, mahal niya eh. Here, he's able to move. With a direction. Yan yung isang senyales na mahal tayo ng tao or merong pagmamahal sa mga relasyon natin. That is why I think the Easter event, the Easter event is an act of love. It's an act of love. Remember, when Jesus died, His disciples were very much afraid of what happened. Kinulong nila yung kanilang mga sarili. But when Jesus started showing Himself, revealing Himself to them, what was the action? Now they were able to move. Nakakagalaw na sila lagi. Pero hindi lang basta-bastang gumagalaw. Merong direksyon lagi galing sa ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. Mary Magdalene, after seeing Jesus, binigyan siya ng direksyon. Go to the disciples. Go to the apostles and tell them that I have risen again. Claro. Hindi na sila nakakulong. Di ba nung una nakakulong sila? In our gospel today, we saw Peter and the other disciples going back to their profession, to their lives. Nakakagalaw na muli. Kasi nga, they witnessed already the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ when they were in the upper room. The Easter event, how they are able to move. Nagutom siguro sila. Kasi ilang araw siguro sila nagkukulong doon sa upper room. Eh, nakita nila yung resurrection. Now, pwede na silang gumalaw. Sara, mangisda tayo. Merong gustong sumama. But when we were when they were there fishing, they were not able to caught anything until until our Lord Jesus Christ gave them a direction. Throw the net on that side, on that right side, on the right side of the boat. Ah, meron na ulit na kuha. Klaro, klaro. 
Easter, ang muling pagkabuhay is an act of love that makes people that makes people able to move with a direction. Kaya ang ating Easter event is an opportunity for us to move, to be animated, maging buhay, with a direction of course. Saan kaya tayo gustong dalhin ang ating Panginoong Heso Kristo? Our Gospel today somehow tells us of the event where our apostles are gathered together again, not just a group of apostles of our Lord Jesus Christ, but they were gathered as a church, symbolized nung bangka o barka na sinasakyan nila. In our Catholic tradition, yun lagi simbolism, isa sa mga simbolism ng ating simbahan. A barka, a boat. And today we heard Peter and the other disciples in a boat after they saw Jesus in the upper room. And I think that is the direction that we are called to. To go to the church to be with the church and to be actively participating in the church to be in the baraka as disciples and apostles no wonder itong gospel natin ngayon somehow you know re reverberates or echoes yung unang event na tinawag si na Pedro to be fishers of men to be apostles to call people to bring people into the church in the barka so we are called to join we are called to be in the church to be fishers of men to call people to invite people to the church and to bring them to Jesus. To bring them in the bosom, in the embrace of the Father in heaven. Ganon ang Easter event sa atin. Hindi lang siya basa-basa Easter, tapos-tapos na, wala lang, wala lang mangyari-ari sa buhay natin. Meron! We are called towards that direction kasi nga, it is an act of love. And that love is given to us. Now we are given that opportunity to move with that kind of direction. To be in the church, to bring people in the church, becoming fishers of men. Who are we to bring in the church? Sabi dito sa gospel, Meron pang specific number when they were bringing over the fish. 153 large fish. And people and, and scholars were, 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 were asking, ano ibig sabihin nung ano na yun? There were many suggestions, but there is this beautiful suggestion of St. Augustine. Sabi niya, the interpretation of the 53 large fish somehow represents the universality of, of, of the call of Jesus to the church. Ibig sabihin, when we call people, hindi tayo namimili, lahat pinipili natin, kinukuha natin. The call to Jesus is universal. So when we, we invite people to the church, when we inspire people to come to the church, eh, kahit yung mahirap i-invite, i-invite natin yan. Hindi natin sasamayin, wag na natin isama yan. May itim ang budhin yan. Ay, huwag natin isama yan. Kaaway ko yan eh. Kalimutan na natin yung taong yan. Huwag na natin isama kay Jesus yan. Hindi pwedeng ganun. That call of being an apostle from the act of Easter, an act of love, is for all. Sino kaya yung very important sa panahon natin ngayon? I think the young people. 
We need to bring the young people in the barca, in the church. Remember, for those two years when we experienced the pandemic, it was them were tied up and was closed in the doors of our homes, watching only the celebrations of our faith in the monitor. And I don't know if they are able to sustain that. And I don't know if they were able to deepen their experience with God with that. We yeah, all of us now are challenged to become fishers of men, especially to the young people who are not able to experience the faith for two years because of that pandemic. Kaya yung mga magulang na nandirito, yung mga kapatid, na merong mas batang kapatid. The question is, where are they? Are we bringing them in the church with the lives that we have. So today, my dear brothers and sisters, the gospel invites us, you know, the gospel invi invites us to strengthen, strengthen our communion or deepen our communion with our faith and to strengthen our commitment in bringing people in the church, especially the young people, bringing them in the church and bringing them to Jesus, the loving and warm love of our Lord Jesus Christ. Please all stand. Our Lord Jesus Christ stays with us to guide the work of his church and to be with us in all our struggles and trials. Let us pray to him with complete trust, and let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer, that the whole church may be renewed by the grace of Easter. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer, that the peace which the risen Lord brought to his apostles may be given to the people of the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer, that we may help the needy and feed them in body and spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick and the handicapped may receive comfort and hope from those who assist them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our Pope, the College of Bishops, parents, relatives, benefactors, and for all those whom we promise to pray, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for the vocations and the needs of the province, and for brothers and ministry at St. John Lateran and St. Albert the Great. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, and for our personal intentions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that those who have gone before us may be welcomed to the shore of eternity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our Father, you restored us to yourself through the resurrection of your Son. Hear our prayers and strengthen us in giving witness to our Easter faith. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear friends, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Perfect within us, O Lord, we pray, the solemn exchange brought about by these paschal offerings, that we may be drawn from earthly desires to a longing for the things of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. Through him, the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, 
we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, Fidelis, his assistant bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Dominic and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we all dare to pray. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God, the Son of Mary. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
we shall be praying the prayer for the elections. Let us pray that the forthcoming elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides the destinies of nations. Let us pray together. Deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord. From coercion, violence, and terrorism. Deliver us, Lord. From dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. Deliver us, Lord. From bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud. Deliver us, Lord. From threats, intimidation, and perverse language. Deliver us, Lord. Let us pray together. Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord. That conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord. That the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord. That the human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord. That genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. This was the third time Jesus had showed himself to his disciples after he had risen from the dead. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine in those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. This was the third time Jesus had shown himself to his disciples after he had risen from the dead. Alleluia. Let us pray. Keep safe, O Lord, we pray, those whom you have saved by your kindness, that redeemed by the passion of your Son, they may rejoice in his resurrection, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for some announcements. Dear devotees of Our Lady of Manawag, the summer feast of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag will be on May 4, 2022 the third Wednesday after Easter Sunday. The Novena Masses will be scheduled at 6 a.m., 7.30 a.m., 9 a.m., 10.30 a.m., 12 noon, and 4.30 p.m. from April 25 to May 3 of 2022, with an additional Mass at 3 p.m. on May 1 Sunday. We invite you to participate in this Novena Masses. If you wish to sponsor one or several Masses, you may fill out the form at the counters for Masses area and submit it with your donation where you will be provided with an acknowledgement receipt. Or you may visit our website www.manawagminorbasilica.org for the online PAMISA. All names of donors and sponsors will appear in the Electronic Souvenir Program. Thank you very much for your continued support. God bless you. Please stand. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. We all go in peace. Thanks be to God. We shall now have the prayer Amen. for the blessing of the sick and the blessing of our rosaries and other religious articles.
Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Let us pray. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness towards our brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that, in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ and Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, images, candles, oils, and other religious articles, our devotees and pilgrims, be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.